Let's discuss about the transmission electron microscopy images of nanotubes or nanofibers. You can see the fibers are porous, hollow, so you can call it nanotubes or hollow nanofibers. These are the SEM images of nanofibers. SEM images. You can see here that the highest resolution we took here is 100 nanometer, right? And this one is in micron, one micron, right? So you look here, this, the, the SEM gives us the three dimensional black and white image, the three dimensional. You see here the three dimensional, right? And the below image is the high resolution uh, transmission uh, electron microscopy images, it is two dimensional. In my past video, I already explained that transmission electron microscopy gives us about the information about the structure and shape, the compositional. There is also a mode in TM machine elemental mapping, morphological information such as particles, grain, grain, crystallite. We will see here how we reach to the grain. And furthermore, it gives us also the crystalline nature, whether a material is polycrystalline or uh, a single crystal right these are basically this SEM images you can see this is the surface morphology these are the cross-sectional so this means that here we see the surface here and the cross-sectional show us that the material is porous here you see there are three pores in one here and here is the many pores here uh, and some there are two here right so these are basically the uh, uh, SEM images so what I want to focus here that you we cannot go for high resolution otherwise the image will get blurred here you see we maximum reach to 100 nanometer uh, below maximum we can come to 50 but below that we cannot come right now let's see it's uh, uh, transmission electron microscopic images right so we just uh, take very thin sample of this material very very thin sample of this material and just we focus here you can see here that it is now at 200 nanometer and this is now 100 nanometer we further zoom here we are further zooming here now this is 50 nanometer here and we further zoom here you see here now the grains now we recognizing the grain you see here these grains here as I explained here so this is now one fiber here we are focusing now one fiber we further zooming here you see here so the grains are now clear here these are the grains you can see here and these are the grain boundaries right let's further zoom it here now you see here now this is high resolution images so the planes now are getting closer these are, these are let us plane here you see here further uh, zooming so now you can see here that uh, in specific grain the the planes are oriented in one direction here you see here this is oriented in one direction here it is oriented in this direction here now you we further zoom in further zoom you see here so these are basically the transmission uh, electron microscopic images so the first thing is basically what we get here it also give us the shape of the fiber here but it cannot give us three dimensional overview like this one because uh, the, the sample is very very thin so here electron basically transmit from the sample and here electron basically scan the surface here electron goes internal to internal structure right and we see here uh, that uh, the lattice plane now are visible here and we can easily find the distance between the two plane in this plane electrons are residing there you see here this is now let one crystal plane here right so this shows that the material is polycrystalline because all grain here uh, have their own specific plane here you can see this one look this one here so this means that the material is polycrystalline this means that it is made from many single crystals right now if we further and look the look at the magnification 2 nanometer here when we further zoom it then it give the, the, the system gives us a diffraction pattern and it shows that the material is polycrystalline in nature right so tem basically give us the information about the surface whether how the surface looks like what is the shape this is the second one the third one it also gives us the compositional analysis and I do not know about that. The fourth one it gives us the information about its crystalline nature. 